Oh boy, it's back! It only took five years, but goddamn was it worth it! Uh, some people were mad that this season of Shingeki no Kyojin aka Attack on Titan was only 12 episodes long instead of 25. To that I say, well they were good episodes. What does it matter how many they were? They were still a good continuation of Attack on Titan. Like, yeah, more would have been great, but I was happy with what we got, and hey, the next season is already confirmed, we don't have to wait another five years, so I don't see anything here to complain about! Now about the show itself. Humanity's bid for survival, the intensity of which is amped up to 11. That is what I love about this show. It is intense to the point of being over the top and ridiculous, and I will gladly eat that stuff up for days. Watching this season made me realize how I'm not into this show because it has thought-provoking ideas or because its mysteries are intriguing or anything, but because this show is hyperbole incarnate. Every character is hyper-emotional, every death horrifically exaggerated, every plot point an incredible turn or otherwise unfortunate twist. If you've ever wondered what it means to be on the edge of your seat, Pop on Attack on Titan and you'll know. Every episode of this show has always had me fully absorbed, wondering how much farther can they take it? How much more adrenaline can they pump this show with? Because right now, it seems the sky's the limit. One of my favorite moments was THE twist of the season. Two characters that we thought were just some cool dudes hanging about admit to being the colossal and beast titans, but the way it's presented is what makes the scene stand out. The scene is so underplayed as to paradoxically make it more intriguing. The camera is pulled far back from the confession, and their voices are low and being talked over so that you can barely make out the conversation. This is so antithetical to the show's usual style of big reveals and intense emotions that I thought it was pretty beautiful. I also appreciated all the attention placed on other characters. There were episodes where the main characters didn't show up at all, and instead one of the side characters played a starring role. I loved Sasha's episode because it took a character that was just a meme, she likes food, guys, and forced her to get her shit together by putting her alone in a dangerous situation. All the stuff with Kristen and Ymir was great, and uh, uh, man... I'm just really excited that Titan's back. I know it ain't the deepest show ever, but its ability to absorb me with its intensity alone keeps me coming back. All the twists and turns it takes, stupid or not, are entertaining on some level. Maybe the characters aren't the most complex, but they all have something going on to keep me interested in them. Oh, and I think we can all agree that the show is bloody gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks for watching day 8. Wow, that was a short one. Thanks for watching day 18 of 31 Days of Anime 2017. Today was number 14 on this list. Oh, my trigger! Join me tomorrow for number 13. Shirobako, but not really. In the meantime, have yourself a grand old Titan slaying time. Thanks again for watching. See you tomorrow. Ba da 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 ba da 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 da.